Welcome inside another episode of the show of Park Crusaders pregame show. My name is Zach Marks. Please be bringing you this from inside the Randy Rosen rink here in Sherwood Park, Alberta. Or just a couple hours time, the Sherwood Park Crusaders and the Fort McMurray Oil Barons will do battle here in game two of their first round AJHL playoff matchup. Now the Oil Barons struck first blood last night right here at the Randy Rosen rink. A 4-2 win for the Oil Barons as goals from Carmelo Crandall and Evan Arnold were not enough. As Fort McMurray picking up a 1-0 series lead after the win last night in a game that Shore Park felt they played okay in, had their best period in the third by far, but were unable to beat Gabe Gratton more than twice en route to an 0-1 series deficit for the Crusaders. One lineup change to tell you about. Ryan Arnold comes out of the lineup. In goes Cody Nordstrom on the back end as he'll look to add a physical presence to the back end for Sherwood Park. Now let's head to the pregame interview with head coach Evan McFeeders. Now he felt his team performed in game one last night. Joined now on the Crusaders pregame show by head coach Evan McFeeders. Evan, a 4-2 loss to open the series last night against the Fort McMurray Oil Barons. Uh, what did you think of your team's performance last night? Uh, it was gritty playoff style hockey. I think the first first 10 minutes they were slinging everything in the net. They had a, a bunch of they were just coming across the red line, getting it on top of the goaltender, getting some some uh, D zone faceoffs on top of us, and then uh, any sort of 50-50, they would grab control and throw it at the net and just try to establish a little bit of momentum that way. And I thought we weathered that fairly well. We gave up one on the power play. Um, it was a tight contest all the way through. We had our chances to score. Uh, we didn't really give up too much in the back half of the hockey game here. And after we settled down after a little bit of momentum switches, uh, it was a good good playoff uh, atmosphere in our building here and uh, unfortunately we dropped the first game but uh, you turn the page on those that's why there's seven game series and I think we lot, learned a lot last night had a good day today of preparation we're ready to go again for game two. Does losing last night add any extra importance to tonight's matchup? Uh, each game that you play from here on out is, is more important and the last game of the year when you're trying to win 16 uh, postseason matches and the last one's always the hardest to win so of course yeah that tonight's more important than last night. You had Cody Nordstrom into the lineup what are you expecting out of him tonight? Uh, some fresh legs, uh, obviously the physicality uh, he brings, he, he can change momentum in, in uh, a spur of a moment here. So we're hoping that Cody can uh, get out there, get accustomed to the pace right away and give us a bit of a, a little bit of punch here. What were some of the positives you took out of yesterday's performance? Oh, certainly the positives were the, the, the last 30 minutes of the game where we had possession of the puck, we dictated pace, we pushed back physically, uh, had some nice penalty kills. Uh, really put some, some heat on their back end, win some pucks back and now we need to break through offensively five on five. What was the message in the room heading into that third period yesterday? Uh, that we were in a hockey game. Like that, that this is playoff hockey, and there's going to be um, there's going to be highs and lows in the game, and we just got to stay the course and uh, make sure we don't have any sort of mental lapses based on some retaliatory penalties or, or or what it may be on some turnovers that go the other way. We just we stay the course, and the third period we didn't really switch too too much, and nothing I'm going to let you know anyway. So uh, our guys just did their thing out there, and unfortunately we came up one goal short, but that's why we play seven here. Plenty of physicality in last night's game. Was that what you were expecting, or are you expecting more of it here tonight? Yeah, that's what's playoff hockey. Everyone's trying to get uh, investments on the opposition here, and we're no different. I thought we got some uh, investments in some of their guys, and uh, they had some ice packs in their dress room, so did we, but that's what we expect at this level of hockey this time of year. All right, thanks for this, Coach. Good luck tonight. Thanks. And that'll do it for another episode of the Sherwood Park Crusaders pregame show. Puck drop is 7 p.m. right here at the Randy Rosen Ring. Tickets are available at tickets.sherwoodparkcrusaders.ca or at the door when you get here. If you can't make it out, I will have the call on Hockey TV. For all of us in the Crusaders organization, we appreciate you tuning in, and we will see you at Puck Drop.